Hey lovelies, for this granola recipe, I'm using rolled oats. I will be leaving the items I use in the comment section. Do check it out. And into it, I will be adding some olive oil and some honey. I'm using honey as sweetener. Please don't use sugar to sweeten your granola. There are other sweetener you can use. I will be leaving it on the comment section. Check it out too. I'm adding, right now I'm just adding all purpose, um, sorry, all spice and then I added some cinnamon and also some salt into it and then step, I will stir this properly to be well combined. You can also use ginger and um, garlic for this recipe but I don't have that at home so I'm skipping that so if you have it you can use you can just add a teaspoon to it a teaspoon of garlic and ginger into it I also added vanilla flavor but you can also use any flavor of your choice since I don't have coconut oil available I added a little of my coconut flakes but this is totally optional and please don't add all your coconut flakes because this is going to melt while you are and um, flying your hoods so don't add don't add this everything that you want to use for this recipe i already added a little because i just want the flavor inside my granola so this is me just telling the granola through and at a point you can notice it's becoming a bit brown at this point i'm going to add my cashew nut please don't add your cashew nut at the beginning so me adding this cashew nut is just because i want the honey and all the spices i had to like get absorbed into it i want it to be tasty so i stir this for some time just don't leave this thing keep stirring don't leave it to get burnt at this point i added my mixed fruit but before i added the mixed fruit i off the gas cooker because you don't want to cook it you don't want it to be cooked it's already um dehydrated and it's ready for use so this means just spraying the granola on a tray this recipe is very easy it's very hard if you are using oven what you just need to do is to line in your um, oven tray with a parchment paper and then bake it for just about eight minutes stirring it occasionally because you don't want it to get burnt after that you can store in an airtight container and brand it because you can say this you can actually say this you can say it in stores in supermarkets and then you can also add it to your parfait 